Okay, uh, so we're going to fit the stator now over the rotor. Uh, make sure to begin with that there's no bits, uh, the uh, no bits of metal of uh, uh, stuck to the magnet of the rotor. They'll destroy everything. Right then, there's three spacers that go on these three studs, and then the stator goes on over the studs. Hopefully, it's always fiddly because. The stator is made up, oh, I can't quite see the camera there, but I think it's actually a, a lot of plates. It's about, what, 20, 25 plates put together so rather than one solid piece of metal. So that means when it goes on over these studs, the plates always catch on the threads. You know, if it was a solid piece of metal, it would slide on, but it's not. And also, uh, because I, I, trial fit, I trial fitted the stator earlier on, and it was too close on this side you want I'm going to put a feeler gauge and we want at least an eighth thou gap all the way round if you haven't got that gap it will burn the stator out so what I've done is I've, I've tried I've just given a gentle adjustment to the uh, three studs using my gentle adjustment tool yes and um, so it may the holes might not line up now. So um, I've got the stator lead coming out at about the five o'clock position on the outside. Always stator, always check that that isn't broken there. That's where, that's where they normally break, in which case I get a new stator. The stator themselves, unless it's burnt out, this one seems okay. It's a bit old, but it seems okay. Um, it's, it's this wire that breaks because it doesn't like being in oil. It doesn't like getting hot. So a combination of being sitting in oil and being red hot, they uh, get brittle and they get brittle and then they fracture, which is exactly what happened to my dear old friend Alan's command all those years ago. Just exactly when you don't want it to happen. In our case, I think we were halfway to Oxford at night. And we suddenly realised we had no electrical power. There. Okay, so that's about on. As you can see, the state is slightly indented. Uh, the root is slightly indented from the stator, but I think that's fine. All right, let's let's have a go with the dear old feeler gauge and see what we got. I think I've gone too far. I've gone too far the other way now. Oh, God, would you believe it? So I've got a nice gap now. I, I, I was tight on that side before. Now I'm tight on this side. So I'm going to go off camera because I'm too embarrassed about this. But I will apply gentle persuasion to these um, studs. I moved it over that way and I've moved it too far. So I've now got probably a 10, 12 thou gap there. And I've not got, I've got less. Hmm, I've got a very tight, no, less than an 8 thou gap there. Damn. Okay, so I might have to take the stator all off again. Uh, um, but I'll, I'll see, I'll see. Right, uh, I haven't tightened the nuts up yet, but I've now got a good eight thou gap all the way around. So yeah, it's taken a bit of uh, gentle persuasion on the stator, but we've got that all important air gap. What I will, what I will check is obviously I'll do the nuts up. There's nuts and washers go on the stator. I think there is a torque setting. I'll check that in a minute, and then when it's all tightened up then I will recheck that air gap. You must have that air gap between the rotor and the stator, all, even all the way around. Okay, I'll do the nuts up and then we'll check it again. Okay, uh, just a, a little mention on the uh, stator, fitting the stator and sorting out this essential gap we've got between the rotor and the stator. Uh, someone wrote in and said, look, um, 
you don't uh, try adjusting sort of basically bending these three studs um, what you should do is 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 machine the studs down so there's a bit of play and then you can move the stator which and I um, I'm not I'm not saying don't do that um, uh, um, but uh, that's certainly one way of doing it one way of doing it is to bend the studs another way of doing it is to chamfer the the uh, studs down uh, um, machine them down another way of doing it is to drill out the the holes in the stator so they're bigger what I would say is just I, I wouldn't say don't do that but I would say just be aware the problem is if you machine down the studs then the stator is loose you know to, which is great you can adjust it to get the gap but if it then this is a massive magnet and if the stator should then come loose or you know it can be, it can shift and be dragged in by the rotor and because there's play on the stator it will come in and it will touch the rotor which is exactly what we don't want to happen so just be aware there's pros and cons to every method um and just what i remember just be aware that all my videos a lot of it is the way i do things which isn't necessarily the way of doing things it's just the way i do them other people do them in different ways and what I always say to people is, look, you know, watch other people's videos, read other, you know, go on the forums or whatever. And so, sort of, you know, take everyone's opinion and then you make up your mind to do what you want to do. Um, you know, I'm just showing you this way I do it and the, what the sort of traditional ways of sort of bend the studs. That's, that's how it's always been done for the rotor. But you, there are different approaches. There are different ways, whether you fit a belt drive and different ways of fitting the pistons. And, you know, there's lots of different ways of doing things and different advice on how to do this, that and the other. So don't, don't take my word as law because it isn't. It is my opinion. The only word of warning I would give you is if someone gives their opinion and gives it as law, then I always think that's a bit suspicious. I only give my opinion. I say, look, I do it like this. I don't say, this is the way. Don't do it that way. Do it this way. I never say that. I say, I do it this way, but you could do it that way as well, you know, if you want to, but I don't. But I always beware of people saying, no, 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 don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. No, you must do it like this. No, no, it's an opinion. There's facts, like what's the thread on this stud? That's a fact. An opinion is how best to fit the data. Be aware and always, I say, always avoid people who are very dogmatic and say, no, you've got to do it my way. No, look at all the different ways and then you make up your mind. Okay. Okay, uh, so these are talked up to uh, 15, 15 foot pounds. That's two. That's three. Okay, so they're tightened up. Let's see what we got. I'm not optimistic, to be honest. Oh no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, look tight there. I'll see if I can just adjust it a little bit to the left. Close your eyes a minute. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay, good. Phew. <sighs> Pain those things. Right. So now I've got to get the uh, stator lead through, back through the grommet. Now I've already, can we see this on camera? Where are we? Yeah. I've already had to take, I had to cut one of the bullets off in order to get it out. Uh, so I'll thread it back through and then later on we'll fit uh, a new bullet. 
and just trying to make sure that we don't break this damn lead because it's really brittle. And also, in our case, it was actually fitted in the wrong place uh, when we took it off. I think the lead was coming out the top. Uh, what that means is the lead is sort of used to bending in one way and we're now bending in a different way, so it might not like it. In which case, it'll be another, it'll be a new stator, I'm afraid. But let's, uh, let's stay positive. Okay, I'm going to grab it, see if we can get it this side. Okay. So far, so good. That's okay. There. Yeah. That's good. And obviously, we just make sure it's very far away from the belt. And there, uh, that's it. Stator on. Whew. Rotor on, stator on, lead fed through. And what we've got to do now is uh, fit the clutch plates. And then uh, that's about, oh, and then, then I will adjust the um, tension on the belt. And then we should be just about done. And put the casing on and that's the primary done.